So in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a really, really nice edit for any model that has dark skin. So you can see the image on the left is the before and the image on the right is the after. And this is all done within Lightroom. And it's a mixture of color grading, color manipulation, and just softening some of the skin tones in there with some of the settings. So I'm gonna restart this and bring it back to the beginning and walk you through how I done it. So the first thing I did was bring the color temperature up just a little bit because I thought it'd be nice just to warm up the whole image in general because there is a real nice warm tone to it. Then I'm gonna just bring the contrast down and I brought it down to about minus 20 just because I wanna flatten everything and bring back contrast later within the tone curve. Then the highlights, I brought them up to plus 30 just to bring out some detail there and the shadows I've pulled them down to minus 25 then the whites I've gone up so I've pushed them quite high to around I think it was about plus 39 plus 40 around there and then the blacks I've done the same but I've actually doubled it so I've gone to around plus 80 so there we go you can see straight away what that's done we've just really brightened the whole of the image brought out all the detail in the shadow areas and yeah just made it pop a little bit more so it's a little bit flatter um, but we just brought out all that detail in them dark areas okay what i'm going to do as well here in the texture is i'm going to bring this down to minus 40 and the reason why i've done that is because that's what's going to give us um, that softer skin look so we've kind of just almost smoothed out that skin and the dehaze, I actually pushed this up to plus 20. There we go. So I want to take some of the impact of what we've just done away. So I'm gonna bring the vibrance and the saturation down. So the vibrance just to minus 10 and the saturation to minus 20. There we go. And you can see that's just, again, flattened it a little bit. So the basic panel up here is just preparing us for the tone curve and the color and then the color grading panels. So we're giving ourselves a good platform to start from, okay? So let's make a start with the tone curve and I'm gonna give this a, a little bit of a um, adjustment, nothing too drastic. So I'm just gonna bring shadows down a little bit here. I'm gonna bring this midpoint. I'm just gonna bring that down as well, I think to about there and then i'm going to bring these highlights down as well to about about there that's that's looking pretty good that's quite nice so it's a, quite a gradual kind of fall off and then in the shadows you can see what i've done there i've just pulled them out so i'm going to do something very similar with the red green and blue so all we need to do is right click copy channel settings and then just go to each one, right click again, and then you can see here it says paste channel settings. So we're just gonna do that on all of them. And that's just gonna correct all them colors for us and give us the same tones. There we go. So if we look at the before and after just of the tone curve, you can see what we've done. We've brought back some of that contrast that we took away in the basics panel. You can see there them, them shadows are starting to be filled again, and we are just manipulating these colors a little bit within there so it's starting to come back and it, it looks really really nice so now we get to manipulate the colors so the hue the saturation and the luminance i'm going to start with the hues and i'm just going to bring these reds down to about minus 20 and i'm going to bring the orange down to about minus 10 and i think the yellow about the same i don't want to go too much don't want to bring them down too much because i don't want to start changing um, the the colors too drastic i don't want to step away too much from the colors that are there so let's go to the saturation and let's just bring the reds up just a little bit to plus 10. i'm going to bring the orange down to about minus 20 just for obvious reasons because there's a lot of orange in there same with the yellow i'm just going to bring that down uh, not as much about minus 10 green i don't think there's actually there's not any green in there um i'm going to bring it down just to, just to bring it to about there okay the reason why i've done that 
even though green is not in those i'm just doing that for your sake because if you do copy this preset then uh, there might be green in yours and you'd need to just bring that down a little bit otherwise it will affect some of the tones in the skin okay so let's jump onto the aqua and the blue and just do the same with that so let's go minus 20 and there we go that looks good okay and then the brightness of the colors so we're just going to mute them a little bit so minus 20 on the red and i'm going to boost that orange minus 20 on there as well yellow i'm going to bring that up a little bit to plus 15 and then just bring these minus 10 around that mark it should be good there there we go that's looking pretty good so we're we're getting there so if we just look at the before and after of that you can see i've just taken most of the orange and the yellow out of the the actual image and and i'm looking at skin tones not the wall when i'm doing that so i'm just trying to get some nice tones in fact i might bring that red back in and push that back to where it was to zero actually i think that looks that looks better yeah a little bit more red in that skin tone looks a little bit better it looks warmer so that's quite nice and then let's go and color grade it so let's just think about um what we're going to do and to be honest it's mainly the shadows i don't really want to be affecting any of the highlights because that will then start really impacting the skin tone so the shadows will do it in the darker areas and i think will be okay so I'm just going to stick with that. The hue, I'm going to go with something along the lines of in the 30s range. So about 37, that's quite nice. That kind of range there. Um, the saturation of about 14, 15. So it's just a hint. Let's just bring that saturation up there. And let's just change this. So... I'm just having a look yeah yeah 37 38 so we're just kind of in that cusp of just coming into sort of orange and a, a little bit of red there and that just warms it up and the reason why i've chosen that is because of the the dress that she's wearing the background but also the, the actual skin tone as well this is complementary to the skin tone um so yeah that's that's gonna that's gonna work really well so I think then we can add a little bit of sharpening. So just push this up to around 10. There we go. Let's move the detail up to 50. Keep it as radius as one pixel. And we can push the masking up to 50. And noise reduction. I'm going to push that up to 15. And in the color, I'm going to go up to 20, 25 around there. That's pretty good. And that is looking good so that is how you do it okay that's how that's how i done this edit so if we look at the before and after you'll see now the difference so you can see that the skin is slightly smoother and that's to do with um, the texture bringing that down and it just looks a lot yeah a lot smoother and it's just a little bit more silky it looks beautiful the skin on there really really radiates um, and the the cheekbones are really pronounced under here um, and the nose is as well there's lovely sort of light fall off on there and then shadows and then falling onto them then beautiful lips there so I, I think this works really really well and the hair the hair with that shadow just really sets it off it's got nice nice lines to it so so that's how I've done it I hope that's helped Try it on your images, see how you get on, and I'll see you in the next video.